What's going on, guys and gals? My name's Sean, and if you landed here, you're watching Scar My Guitar. What's going on, everybody? It's good to see you back. Now, today we're going to look at the brother of a telly that we already checked out. Now, I'm going to give you fair warning already. I know this for a fact. This guitar has one ugly headstock. When Kathy went to buy this guitar, she showed it to me beforehand this time. She said, should I buy this guitar? Knowing the headstock looks like this? I said, look, that guitar is $129 delivered on Amazon. I'm thinking I can work with the headstock. Go on and get it. Yeah, I said go on and get it, because I'm a lover of offset bodies. And two single coils in a humbucker? Shoot, I'm in, man. Yeah, I'm talking about this. What this is, is one of the more Amazon boxes. <laughs> This one ain't beat up too bad, but uh, let's crack it open. The trim bar and stuff just hanging out. <laughs> Look at the box. At least it made it. Didn't get lost. Crack this bad boy open. Decent gig bag. Seriously, not bad. Let's set it up here. Headstock. What? <laughs> yeah, headstock first. But uh, this is bad news, I'm thinking. It shouldn't be wagging around like that. No, nah, it shouldn't be wagging around like that. That guy's broke all day long. Some idiot broke the headstock. Look at that. Well, good job on that one, Amazon. But, uh, <laughs> looks like we'll just take a look at it and move on to something else. Man, this thing looked promising for sure. That's a quarter-sewn maple neck. But that matters little when it's broke like that, huh? <laughs> Yeah, it's hard to believe they broke that. That had to be stomped on us some kind of way. But this guitar was beautiful before that. Dang on just a dang minute. Sean, you know how to fix that headstock. Show us how. Bro, look, that's a $130 guitar. It's just not worth my time. Literally, I could spend the time it would take to fix that just making a brand new neck for it. But since that one's all banged up, let's look at this. And what this is, is the magic of Amazon. <laughs> In a little bit of time, we got the same guitar back from them. And this box here has got a big dent across the front of it here. Big hole in it. Sides blown out of it, just like the other one. So it could very well be this one's broken too. Let's get in it. Man, this box is just, just destroyed. Look at it. This isn't good. Let's take it out. This was just floating around in the box. Let's see if the guitar is in one piece. Yeah, I think we're in good shape. Let's pull it out. Let's go headstock first again. Here's that old honk beak, <laughs> or eagle beak, or buzzard beak. But it is looking pretty clean. At least the headstock's not broken, right? Kathy, pull that paper off there. Yeah. Now, they got the mystery fretboard wood on all these guitars. But those frets are green. Look at them. Holy cow. <laughs> now, I ain't never pulled a guitar out of the box and its frets were that green. They're not so bad down here. There's a couple of them that ain't anyway. But the rest of them, they are funky. Man, the body on this thing is clean looking. That's a quarter sawn maple neck. Yep, it'll get green like that if it ain't quarter sawn. That's beautiful. Yeah, not so beautiful, that old hawk bill there. I don't dig that at all. But there's a gloss finish on it, so if we alter it in any way, we're going to have to finish it with some gloss again. Looks clean. I wonder what it sounds like. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm a sucker for an offset body. 
And that thing's looking pretty good. Now, I love the pickup setup. Humbucker two single coils. I'm in. We're going to find out what it sounds like plugged in. But let's get it off that table and play it unplugged a little bit first. In the old mono price. Offset guitar. Got it all tuned up. This thing looks pretty good. It's pretty dang heavy, too. Maybe we'll weigh it for the end of the video. But it's absolutely heavy. And I hate that. We're going to have to take care of that down the road or something. I, if I was to keep this guitar, which I don't know if I'm going to yet, that's got to be fixed. We won't do it in this video, but I hate it. All right, let's play it unplugged. It's ringing pretty good. very hard to play been sitting somewhere a long time yeah those frets are green I mean if you can tell anything by unplugged sounds pretty good but I ain't got to say it again do I them frets are super green we got to fix that plus I want to look inside this thing but it ain't gonna take itself apart so that's gonna be enough lip flapping let's make it happen now I really like these little button tuners they feel pretty good too Yeah, they feel pretty good, but you ain't got to watch this. Take the back plate off. We know it's a small trim block. Three Springer. Jack to the gills. Yeah, normal stuff. Let's just get this off of here. I don't know if it's coming across in the video, but they really put the volume and tone in the top of these things. <laughs> Those frets, man. Yeah, we already seen that. But they're real scratchy, too. See all this stuff on them? Look at how scratchy and ugly they are. We got our work cut out for us. Let's take this old neck off. Is there a hole here? And does it matter? We might win. About the size of a pencil eraser. Crazy, huh? A lot of trash there. That ain't gonna matter. Yep, big old shim in there. Lay him to the side. Get all this garbage out. Looks like popular. Yeah, it looks like popular because it also has this greenish color in the grain. You can see it with different colors. Can take the pit guard off. Alright, let's see what's under this bad boy. Your normal stuff, everything's ceramic. And being how those magnets are so thick, these things right here probably aren't wound very good. Let's take one out and look. Let's investigate a little further. It's hard to judge, could be a lot of tape. Let's see. Yeah, it's got a lot of tape. But it is wax potted. You can see the wax. Yeah, it's a lot of tape. I'm not going to unwrap it all the way since it's got all that wax. But, let's see what they sound like later. Same little CF pots. Normal stuff. At least they got a B on the humbucker. 
But if you want to talk about a swimming pool route, bro, <laughs> and this thing is still super heavy. Yeah, popular is a heavy wood, and it's cheap. One of the cheapest ones you can buy down at the exotic wood store. Now that pickup looked kind of skinny, so we'll do the arm reading. I got it plugged in. It's in the bridge position. Let's turn it up. So that humbucker is 1377. We know it's ceramic. Fourth position or second, whatever tickles you. Middle. Second or fourth. Again, whatever tickles you. And one. Eh. I mean, looks like normal stuff to me. See how level this neck is. It's got a little bit of air under there. Yeah, that's a little bit too much. Let's flatten it out. That's perfect. Leave it there. Let's see if these green frets are level. Got a little something there. I don't have much hope for them to be level. Yeah, it's rocking. Old thing's rocking. Dang, that was really rocking there. Just over there, though, not on the whole thing. Yeah, it's rocking. Rocking. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Let's just do it. I didn't touch the first one. But that old thing works pretty good, don't it? Got that file from Timu. I love it. Now, if you don't have an automatic crowning file, or if you want to make yourself one, that's the file that's on there. There's a link in the description for it. This is also the one that I use when I'm not using this. Sometimes I use a fret guru if the frets are bigger than this file, but that's the only time. Don't hate, reciprocate. All right, they're all crowned and pretty now. Just need to get this cleaned up and polished up real good. Let's get at it. You know I like to clean it with this stuff. And the conditioner. Yeah. 
Yeah, Toto, we're a long way from Kansas. <laughs> Fritz ain't green no more, are they? Let's get this bad boy back together. All right, I'll spare y'all the rest of the details there putting this thing together. We've done it together a thousand times already. But she cleaned up nice, didn't she? <laughs> yeah, the Indio Mono Price Offset is worth $129 all day long. This thing sounds as good as any electric guitar I've ever heard played unplugged. Yeah. And it's got killer fretwork now. I mean, it just plays so good. Let's turn it up a little bit. sounds good it's hundred and twenty nine dollars it sounds good <laughs> it's kind of surprising but these tuners stay in tune pretty good <laughs> let's try it in the fourth position or second whatever <laughs> Try the neck. Yeah. Now, what's my final thoughts on the Mono Price Indio Jaguar for a hundred and twenty-nine dollars? If you can do the fret work because you're gonna have to. Yeah, because you're gonna have to. Remember the beginning of the video when I said I'd never seen one with frets so green? Yeah, I said I'd never pull one out of the box that had frets that green. When I was editing the video, and I looked back and I saw the broken headstock neck. It had green frets too. Here's a picture. But now that the fret work's done on that guitar, honestly, I'd expect to pay at least four to 500 bucks for it the way it is now. If I saw it somewhere and didn't know what it was worth, I'd think it was a $500 guitar. I mean, brand names on the headstock to the side, that's a killer guitar. Now don't forget, me and Kathy really appreciate you watching. She's got a new video coming up on her pickup channel really soon. Yeah, I know I've been saying that, but also been telling you she's slow. Now I hope to see you in the next video, but until I do see you again, don't you touch my scar guitar. Don't you touch my scar guitar.